Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day from St Peter's Bexhill. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. This story is called The First Christmas Tree. Boniface was walking through the woods. It was winter. It was cold. But even though Boniface was desperate for a hot drink and a warm fire, he kept on walking. For it was his job to travel from one end of England to the other, telling the people about Jesus. Boniface heard a cry. It was a child's cry, a frightened cry. So Boniface stopped walking and began to run. The branches snapped at his face. The wind howled about him, but he was getting closer, he could tell, for the child's cries were growing louder. At last, Boniface stumbled into a clearing. There, gathering at the foot of an oak tree, was a group of men, and the child's cry came from the midst of them. Stop! Boniface shouted. Stop what you are doing right now! The men turned towards him. Their faces were painted with strange and frightening patterns, and each one held a weapon. Go back, one of them called. This is no business of yours. Yes, it is, Boniface required, for I can tell by your dress and your face paint that you are druids. And if I'm not mistaken, you intend to kill that boy and offer him as a sacrifice to one of your tree gods. The gods of the oak demands it, one druid argued, and we are here to serve him. Well, I serve another god, argued Boniface, a god who does not approve of the killing of children. And with that, he grabbed an axe and began to chop at the base of the oak tree. One of the druids went to stop him, but the leader held him back. Wait, he said with a sneer. The god of the oak tree will punish him soon enough. Boniface chopped and chopped. He chopped until he had chopped that oak tree right down. And as it crashed to the forest floor, the druids began to tremble. I don't understand, said their leader. The god in the oak tree did nothing to protect himself and nothing to punish you. That's because there is no god in the tree, Boniface explained. There is only one god, the god who made the tree and everything else in this world, the God who does not demand the sacrifice of our sons. No, for he has already sacrificed his own son, Jesus, sacrificed him on a tree to take away all that is wrong in this world. He sacrificed his own son, said the Druid leader in wonder. Yes, nodded Boniface, and more amazing than that, he brought his son back to life again so that we could live forever too. And then Boniface pointed to a tree, not the fallen oak, but a bright furry evergreen. If you want to remember the god I serve, Boniface said, you could use that tree, the tree that never dies. Decorate it and use it to celebrate the birth of Jesus, the son of God who lives forever. So that's what the Druids did. And some people say that that was the very first Christmas tree.